Well, delayed again. Tonight we have learned it will be at least 10 more years until 485 is finally finished. Another decade. Just this week, the state delayed the project two more years due to money concerns. One local politician says the problem is the way the state doles out money for roads. He says the system hurts Charlotte more than any other part of the state. Tom Rousey, live with the story, all new at 11 o'clock. Tom. Yeah, Paul, right now, exit 16 here. It's the end of the line for 485. You try to go any further, you run into one of these. We now know, thanks to this latest delay, that by the time this road is finished, it will have been under construction for 30 years. But one state senator says it didn't have to be that way. This week, we drove to Raleigh and took a ride on I-440. It's smaller than 485, but it's similar in that it loops around the city. And it's been done since 1983. And they've started building a new loop further out. Now flash to rush hour today in Charlotte, where we now know 485 won't be done until 2017 at the earliest. And plans to widen parts of it in South Charlotte are also delayed. Not fair at all. State Senator Robert Pittenger says much of the problem is the way the state funds roads. He says for every dollar we in this area pay in taxes for roads, we don't get a dollar back. Now, things aren't working right. These formulas are favoring uh, portions of the state that don't even have population growth. Here's how the DOT says roads are funded. Half of the money is given out based on an area's population. That's good for Charlotte. But half the money is given out for other reasons, including a portion that's given to each region equally, no matter how many people live there. You go out to the eastern part of the state and you've got these wonderful roads uh, with nobody driving them. Bittinger says rural areas benefit the most, we benefit the least. But the DOT has a different view, saying some years we've actually gotten more than our share of money, other years not as much. And they say money is tight everywhere. But Pittenger says it's a broken system, made worse by the fact that no elected statewide leaders are from this area. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, they're not here. And when 485 is finally done, you'll be able to hop on it, say, come from Gastonia on 85, get on it, head up this way, and actually get to a place like Huntersville very quickly. But we now know, for at least the next decade, this is going to be standing in your way until this thing finally gets finished sometime pretty far from now. Back to you. Tom, thank you. Here's an update to Tom's story from last night. Come Monday, every light on I-277 could be out. Most already don't work. Now they have to shut down the few that do here near Caldwell Street for work. Duke Kennedy says it's possible these lights will not come back on. The state DOT says it is unsure if it has the money to fix the lighting problem on I-277.